Welcome back to Magic Tarot Cards. It's Jasmine. I have one card here. This video is going to be about the moon, the new full moon that's coming, or the full moon, should I say, that's coming on Halloween night. This is unusual. It's called the blue moon, and it's bringing in a lot of energies that I feel like a lot of you need to be aware of if you believe in astrology. The planets, how they line up, affect us on a daily basis. So I'm here to talk about the moon that's coming in. We just had a full moon, which was the harvest moon. And they call it the harvest moon because back in the day, that's how the farmers used to know when it was time to harvest their plants, which was beginning of fall. So that's when they would harvest their plants. And then plus a whole lot of energies came with that too. So, but now we have this extraordinary blue moon that's going to happen in um on halloween night so with this one we're going to have a lot of energy this month in october because of the moons also because we are in mercury retrograde i'm going to make a video about that after this and then mars is here too mars brings you a lot of increased energy almost like you drank 20 cups of coffee that's how you're going to feel this month there's a lot going to be going on because of those two planets i'm also seeing in the month of october this is the month of uh, honors and awards so some of you especially water signs you're going to be getting some type of honor bonus raise or, or, or award something like that i'm hearing i'm seeing that with the planet lineup um, I'm seeing especially for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but and other, you know, other uh, signs as well. Okay, again, with work and career, it's not a good idea now to start anything new due to Mercury retrograde because they do call that planet the redo planet and you'll have to redo um, certain things. They won't work out. So keep with the job you have, and it won't be until November and December. That would be better for you if you want to start a new job then. Um, I am seeing competition with this moon that's coming in. There'll be people at your job that will be in competition for you. But keep working hard. And this is for everybody or whoever it resonates with because it is you know, uh, under the moon sign. So it, it, it pertains to some people more than others, especially water signs, because they were born under the moon signs. All right. So I am seeing, um, I'm seeing that there'll be competition for some of you at work. And if you keep working hard and showing your skills, I feel like you'll be come out on top. You'll be able to surpass that competition. Okay. Um, you have to like really use a clever i'm hearing strategy um if you're in the markets like uh, doing market work uh, increase your your shares i'm hearing increase your shares i am hearing that the planets are going to affect the the stock market some kind of way um i'm hearing that you need to fight fire with fire this pertains to any situation in your life okay but as you're fighting fire with fire keep your honor and integrity about you don't stoop to the level of whoever it is that you're in competition with or whoever it is that's trying to sabotage you don't stoop to their level keep your integrity that way you'll come when you come out on top the winner you'll still have your integrity i am hearing that with um on october 10th and 11th which is the coming weekend that will be a good weekend for communication if you need to communicate with someone it's going to be a spectacular weekend actually uh, the planet uranus is going to be here which is good and it helps with the conversation so if you want to plan anything small plan it on the 10th and 11th of october again due to mercury retrograde um, we are going to have a lot of electronic problems breakdowns computer software your problems uh, your cell phones will have problems they'll be lagging and spinning because mercury retrograde brings that in um, i do again i already made a video about this earlier months ago that mercury retrograde will affect the election because of the electronic problem that they will have and computers will shut down uh, breakdown um, so there'll be a stagnation or a stall it'll be stalled and of course President Trump would think oh someone's cheating and then people would think oh he's cheating but it's all due to the planets it's a spiritual thing as well I am seeing that so um, don't purchase anything with moving parts 
um, I'm going to save that for the Mercury Retrograde video, but we are in Mercury Retrograde starting as of the 13th, which is just a couple of days away, a few days away, but you're already feeling the pressure of it because we do have um, like two weeks of shadow phase before it where we start feeling all that stuff coming in. This month is going to be intense because Pluto and Venus are here, which bring in the viruses, um, the riots, so and Venus enhances it. And then we have Mars here, which gives you this giant boost of energy that makes everybody act chaotic. And then we have Mercury retrograde, which redoes everything and things break down. And then we have the blue moon. So you have a extremely a lot of energy here in October. So things will seem chaotic through the whole month. Okay. Um, I am seeing for some of you, especially water signs, there's going to be upsetting news um, about your children, somebody's children. Um, yeah, and it's not going to be great news, so keep an eye on what your children, could be your teenagers or, you know, even if your child is an adult. I'm hearing news about that. Um, so keep an eye on the coming events because the moon, the new moon in October, Halloween is bringing that in and so is all the other planets that are surrounding us right now. So I am hearing about something that pertains to children, especially for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, because this is the moon and so it will affect you more than anybody else. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of communication though because Venus is here as well and um, yeah, so just be careful with what you say and what you do because this new moon again is going to be very stressful um and it's gonna the trend is going to last for about six months that it brings in again this moon will also bring a push and pull uh feeling between work and home life so you're going to need a lot of attention to both they're both going to demand your attention to home life and work life and you're going to be back and forth back and forth you know barely being able to handle each one but you will be able to handle it okay but there will be a lot of energy both will need your attention both will need your attention okay also this moon brings in unexpected um financial events you might be hearing this month uh, you'll be getting an unexpected uh, expense. You might have to spend money on something that wasn't expected, which throws a wrench in your other plans for the holidays or your bills or something like that. Some of you aren't working um, or, you know, lost your job to the virus. So you're going to have these unexpected um, financial expenses that it's going to be hard to catch up with or hard to pay. Um, but help is coming. I do see help coming for you. I'm seeing that if you're working with a client, they might not pay you for the work that you've already done or um, something like that or someone owes you money, they don't want to pay you. I am seeing there's going to be an unexpected pregnancy with one of your children, one that you weren't expecting at all. So, you know, watch your children. When I say children, this can mean uh, adult children as well, not just, I'm not, I don't mean under the age of 16, okay? I just mean your sons and your daughters, okay? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I do, again, I hear unexpected expense from somewhere. There's an unexpected expense coming from somewhere. I am seeing friendships being tested as well. This moon is going to bring friendships that are going to be tested because of so much energy from all the planets. So some of your friendships will be tested in a few arguments, um, maybe uh, a few quarrels at work or with your co-workers or your siblings or something like that because there's so much energy floating. Let me show you my cup. This is the magician. This is my new cup. Let me take a drink. Okay. Um, I am seeing an increase in tension also in love relationships in the month of October. Um, be careful what you say to your partner because they can explode and you can have a tower moment. Again, due to the planets here, Mercury retrograde brings in unexpected breakups. So again, be careful what you say to your um, partner during this month. 
because they could feel like really uneasy or blow up quickly, have a quick temper. And that's because the planets are making them feel that way. Again, as far as um, unexpected expense, I'm seeing that if you were hired someone to do a project, um, they might not finish it and you and you might not have to or you might have to pay more money out to it or you might end up pay, uh, doing the project yourself because it's because you want to keep your um, whatever it is that you're working on you want to make it look good and if, if the deal falls through you might have to finish it yourself just to make it look good like the, it was a job well done I'm hearing something like that um, but whatever it is, this moon is going to force you to make a quick decision. And then the matter will be over. It'll be like very huge, but you'll make a quick decision and then it'll be done. Once you finish, make a quick decision. Whatever it was, whatever it was, it will be finished and you'll be done with it. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of energy here from this moon that's coming. And then the moon we just had and then all the other planets surrounding us. Okay. And then one more thing. On November 30th. We're going to have an eclipse, an eclipse, and that follows the um, the full moon on Halloween. So that is also bringing in energy for that month as well, which is going to be a big ending. Now, I can't tell you what ending it is, but it's going to be a big ending somehow. It could be ending of relationships, ending of a project, or some kind of ending, huge ending is coming. Okay, it's going to be, this moon is going to really be a full explosion and an emotional one because of, uh, again, all the other planets surrounding it. Do not send your children trick-or-treating, no matter how safe you think it is, because I see danger. I see danger around the corners. Um, not just uh, with the candy being, uh, you know, with the virus infected, but I see danger, people lurking, people lurking, stealing children. Um, yeah, I see a lot of that. I see a lot of children disappearing, a lot of people lurking, uh, uh, predators. So do not send your children out at all this year. You can have your own private Halloween parties at home. Um, and again, if you're going to invite people over, make sure you sanitize and wear your mask at all times because, again, we are not out of the virus phase. We are still in it, okay? I do see the virus uh, vaccine coming up here pretty quick, and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, the, uh, the night, this night of Halloween is a night where anything can happen because of the moon that's here. Anything can happen, okay? Again... Um, this is a warning, lurking. I, I'm hearing lurking predators lurking around each corner, and children will disappear and out of the out of this thin blue sky, and you won't even know what happened to them. Okay, so keep your children home. All right, keep your children home. Don't even send them out with older children because they will disappear as well. Okay, this is a warning. Now, it seems all negative, but it's really not. These are just. Uh, things that are coming in and that you should be aware of to protect your family and your children and, and these energies So you you'll know it's good to listen to astrology So you'll know what's coming that way you can avoid certain things certain problems from happening again There is a good weekend on the 10th and 11th which brings in a, a lovely thing of communication feeling of communication So if you want to do anything then it would be you would have happy events. I'm seeing uh, committed relationships. Maybe you can plan a drive with your loved one or go somewhere with your loved one and you'll have a lot of memories from that. You create a lot of memories from that. All right. So protect yourself on this full moon that's coming. There's a lot of energy circling around. Um, again, if you're going to party or do anything, Please wear your mask at all times, even if you're with people that are familiar and you feel like they don't have the COVID, it's best to still wear your mask, especially if you're inviting groups of people over. Um, be careful what you eat. I see a lot of contamination in foods and that people are preparing them, not washing their hands, and then the food gets contaminated candy as well so be careful what you eat where you get it from and make sure it's a clean healthy place that's preparing it if you order out because you don't want to get infected with anything um, look at your candy um, if, if you get candy from other sources look at it make sure it's not contaminated with any needles i'm hearing the word needles 
things that prick that prick you could prick your mouth or cut your mouth or anything like that don't just give your children anything and say here eat it examine it first okay examine it first all right so this is the energy of the blue moon that's coming on halloween night a few warnings here and a lot of energy surrounding us y'all it is going to pass and uh, again uh, the virus is going to pass we will be into it in next year but as time goes on pluto will leave our sector and take the virus with it because pluto is the one that brought it in and then we can kind of somewhat get back into a normal uh, living space it's going to take a while for america to recover from this i do see I do, sorry, my phone stopped recording because somebody was trying to call. I do see um, President Trump, uh, you know, having a fit about <laughs> about this election because there is going to be stalled electronics, which will stall the voting system and stall the election. So, yeah, that's coming up. Oh, I just posted a video about Trump. There's two, this, today I posted part two, but there's two videos about him and most likely there'll be a third one as well i'll do uh, mercury retrograde next and that's what's coming up next don't forget to like share and subscribe y'all um if you want a personal reading contact me with the information down below my prices are pretty fair they're not like everybody else's because i want everyone to have a fair chance of getting a good reading hit that notification button so you'll be uh so you'll know when i upload another video all right y'all don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you next time Bye bye